Hello dear buddies, how are you today? I hope you are doing great. You are fine, I hope so. You are happy, I hope so. Our topic for today, what friendship is. So, let's start. Friendships like partnerships are places where we have a chance to enhance each other's development and to validate each other. Both are important. Friends can give each other the wisdom and courage to make growth enhancing decisions. And friends can reassure each other of their fine qualities. Despite the dangers of praising traits, there are times when we need reassurance about ourselves. Tell me I am not a bad person for breaking up with my boyfriend. Tell me I am not stupid even though I bombed on the exam. In fact, these occasions give us a chance to provide support and give growth message. You gave that relationship everything you had for three years and he made no effort to improve things. I think you are right to move on or what happened on that exam. Do you understand the material? Did you study enough? Do you think you need a tutor? Let's talk about it. But as in all relationships, people need to prove themselves can tilt the balance in the wrong direction. Sherry Levy did a study that was not about friendship, but makes an important and relevant point. Levy mirrored adolescent boys self-esteem and then asked them how much they believed in negative stereotypes about girls for example how much did they believe that girls were worse in math or that girls were less rational than boys she then measured their self-esteem again boys who believed in fixed mindset showed a boost in self-esteem when they endorsed the stereotypes. Thinking that girls were dumber and more scatterbrained made them feel better about themselves. Boys with the growth mindset were less likely to agree with the stereotypes, but even they did it did not give them an ego boost. This mentality can introduce on friendships. The lower you are, the better I feel is the idea. One day I was talking to a dear wise friend. I was puzzled about why she put up with the behavior of some of her friends. Actually, I was puzzled about why she even had these friends. One often acted irresponsibly, another flirted shamelessly with her husband. Her answer was that everyone has virtues and foibles, and that really if you look only for perfect people, your social circle would be impoverished. There was however one thing she would not put up with people who made her feel bad about herself. We all know these people, they can be brilliant, charming and fun, but after being with them, you feel diminished. You may ask, am I just doing a number on myself? But it's often them trying to build them up by establishing their superiority and your inferiority. It could be by actively putting you down or it could be by the careless way they treat you. Either way you are a vehicle for and a casualty of confirming their words. You feel diminished. You may ask, am I just doing a number on myself? 
but it's often them trying to build themselves up by establishing their superiority and your inferiority. It could be by actively putting you down or it could be by the careless way they treat you. Either way, you are a vehicle for and a casualty of confirming their worth. I was at a friend party and her sister gave a speech supposedly in her honor. Her sister talked about my friend's insatiable sexual appetite and how lucky it was she found a younger man to marry who could handle it. All in good fun, she took care of my friend's looks, brains and mothering skills. After this tribute, I suddenly recalled the saying, with friends like this, you don't need enemies. It's difficult to realize when, when friends don't wish you well. One night I had the most vivid dream. Someone, someone I knew well came into my house and one by one took all my prized possessions. In the dream, I could see what was happening, but I couldn't see who it was. At one point, I asked the intruder, couldn't you please leave that one? It means a lot to me. But the person just kept taking everything of value. The next morning, I realized who it was and what it meant. For the past year, a close friend had been calling upon me constantly to help him with his work. I obliged he was under a great deal of stress and I was at first happy to use whatever skills I had for his benefit but it was endless it was not reciprocal and on top of that he punished me for it don't think you could ever do work this good you can help me polish my work but you could never be this creative. He needed to reduce me so he wouldn't feel one down. My dream told me it was time to draw the line. Don't think you could ever do work this good. You can help me polish my work, but you could never be this creative. He needed to reduce me so he wouldn't feel one down. My dream told me it was time to draw the line. I'm afraid that in the fixed mindset, I was also a culprit. I don't think I put people down, but when you need validation, you use people for it. One time when I was a graduate student, I was talking the train to New York and sat next to a very nice businessman. In my opinion, we chatted back and forth pleasantly through the hour and a half journey but at the end he said to me thank you for telling me about yourself it really hit me he was the dream validator handsome intelligent successful and that's what i had used him for i had shown no interest in him as a person only in him as a mirror of my excellence Fortunately for me, what he mirrored back was a far more valuable lesson. Conventional wisdom says that you know who your friends are in your times of need, and of course this view has merit. Who will stand by you day after day when you are in trouble? However, sometimes or even Tougher question is, who can you turn to when good things happen? When you find a wonderful partner, when you get a great job, when your child does well, who could be glad to hear it? Your failures and misfortunes don't threaten other people's self-esteem. Ego-wise, it's easy to be sympathetic to someone in need. It's your assets and your successes that are problems for people who drive their self-esteem from being superior. Thank you very much.